Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, a bit of a new setup, you'll see. Everything's different around here. Um, I'm actually in my in-law's house right now. Um, just woke up it's Sunday morning. Um, I think a little after 10.45 or so. Uh, A.M. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to shave because I need it. Um, so uh, I'm going to use the Omega 10066 bore. Uh, wet shaving clubs. Um, true dollar razor and uh, they sent me blades with it as well so I'm just going to use one of those for the soap it'll be Katie's Bubbles um, Ruds Shaves sent me this and uh, <clears throat> it was like a little sample or something for the magger to meet up I like the scent, the scent's nice um, although I don't know what it is because this is the label and there's no other label so that's all I know about it. It was at the 2019 Maggard Meetup, uh, Maggard Razors Meetup, uh, June 1st, 2019. So, uh, so there's no stopper in this sink down here. I'm gonna undo the blade here. These blades are double wrapped. Have they have two envelopes on them? Um, so since there's no stopper, whenever I rush, uh, rinse off the razor, there will be noise from the sink. Probably should have disassembled this before. So it's a three piece. And again, this blade also has no marking like the Kai's. There may be a couple other razors that don't have uh, markings. I'm sorry, uh, razor blades. <clears throat> it's not that it's early, it's that last night I uh, partook into some alcohol um, and cigars and uh, yeah so alignment looks good I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on overhang was even that's the alignment and um, there is no overhang as far as the uh, sides here absolutely none so that's nice all right, bore brush. I don't have my typical little thing here to soak the bore brush, so I'm gonna turn on the hot water for a second. It's wet enough. And going straight into the little tin. This is a, a very small tin, uh, I'm at, you know, very small tub. Um, as opposed to the typical Katie Bubbly, the Katie Bubbles tub. I can't speak. See, so yeah, we watched the uh, Deontay Wilder and uh, Tyson Fury fight last night. Well, I guess you would call it two Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder two. And uh, I'm not gonna say, mm, uh, I won't give any spoilers out just in case some others haven't watched it. But it's a good fight. Um, I think a lot of the I was pulling for uh, Tyson. I just like Tyson. I like his story. Um, I truly think he's a good guy. Not that Wilder's not, but I prefer Tyson over Wilder. So, okay, that's enough soap. Jeez, Louise, that thing is pasted in there, and it's coming out the side, and it's coming out the bowl. Let me wet my face. So you guys are sitting inside of a medicine cabinet. There's three windows to this medicine cabinet. So I'll be using this window over here to shave with. So I'll be like this shaving. So a little bit different setup. All right. But yeah, it was a good fight. I don't think, um, the matchmakers thought it would go how it went. But, you know, everybody kind of, there's a boar bristle in there. Boar little bristle on the top. Get that off. I'm also on a very confined space down here. So I've got to kind of pick where I put stuff carefully. Here we go. Let's get all the stuff off the handle. My 
goodness. This is a mess. Well, right away, I need water for sure. This is way too pasty, and I probably loaded way too much. <laughs> it's so pasty, it's chunky. Does that look good? Can I shave like that? I bet I could, but I won't. Drip some water on this stuff, my goodness. Oh, it's so thick. That's what she, no. For real though, this is a lot of. That should thin it out a little bit. So we're gonna finish up the shave. Go eat some chicharron, which is uh, crackling or uh, fried pork skin. You may also know it as. Although it's not just the skin, it's the fat and everything. I mean, basically the entire like a portion of the pig Including the skin, that's what makes it crackling or chicharro. Man, this stuff is just, I mean, this, you could tell that is nothing but thickness in there. Jeez. I just loaded way too much. I'm sure it'll work fine just shaving this, but... So I finally sent the, um, I'm going with that. I don't have that much time. What am I at right now? Seven minutes, 30 seconds. I haven't even done my first pass. I sent my straights to Anthony. They should arrive by Monday. So hopefully I'll get them back. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if he, I'm assuming if he gets them Monday, he might not touch them until Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe ship them back Thursday, Friday. Maybe I'll get them the following Monday or Tuesday. So, Monday or Tuesday of next week. All right, let's see. I have the bed here. I haven't taken a shower yet. I was planning on shaving and then showering. And as soon as I turned on the camera, I remembered... I can't take a shower because I have something to do at 11.45. All right, this is too thick. But I'm going to roll with it just for the sake of not. But this is not my typical lathers. I just loaded this way too. Loaded the brush way too much. My goodness. It's not even wanting to come off of the, uh, with, with running water on it, running hot water on it. It's not even wanting to come off of the razor. But you know, it's, it's very possible that this will be a very good shave due to the fact that it's so thick that it might, it might provide a lot of protection due to the fact that it's thick and it's thick. All right, we're gonna burn through this. Another boar. Boar hair from that Omega just came off. It was on my face in that lather. But like I said in my review of this razor, it's a good razor. It's efficient. 
It's not too mild. It's actually cutting amazingly. I'm honestly thinking that this thicker lather may be the way to go. I have a, uh, let's see, I shaved on. I have three and a half days of growth. And while this isn't the most aggressive razor that I'm using, I do not feel any, I don't feel any razor touching the skin at all. So. All in all, I thought it would be a bad shave due to the fact that the lather was not as creamy as I like it, but, and obviously it doesn't look great. <laughs> as I'm shaving because it's leaving big streaks behind, but um, I've been over those same spots and it's already cut the hair. It's just the lather was so thick that. That's number one in the books. And how do you not like Katie's bubbles? I mean, I have enough soap residue on my face right now to probably do another pass without even putting more soap on, to be honest. I mean, so. But I'm gonna put more on. So yeah, the fight was good. I, uh... enjoyed it. It was worth the money. And um, I couldn't tell you anything about any of the other fights on the card because I didn't watch them. Just wasn't interested in them. I tuned in for the I kept checking back every 20 to 30 minutes to make sure that uh, I wasn't missing the Wilder fight, Wilder Tyson fight. All right, across the growth. But yeah, like I, like I told Anthony, I'm. I'm anxious to try his blades. I want him here so I could try, you know. He's gonna use the, um, the Japanese natural stone called a Jit. Well, I mean, they're called J Nats, but uh, Ozuku Misu. Hmm, maybe I'm saying that wrong. That might not be it, but it's. Um, supposed to be a really comfortable edge and that's what I told him I wanted I told him I don't care about home wear I don't care about you know if you've got to take off the heel stabilizer I don't care there's another bristle more bristle I just want a comfortable shave. He said, okay. We'll do it on the JNAT. Another thing I didn't take into consideration is The water here is much different than mine. I have very hard 
hard water in my house. And this is very soft water. So the slickness is actually amplified. All right, last pass. Maybe touch-ups, I don't know. I feel like I have a uh, Kin Shaves lather going on here. Very thick and... While I don't prefer these lathers, they work. Um, there's still a sheen on it as well. I don't know if you guys can see the sheen, but there's still a sheen on it. So we know that it's hydrated. It's just, I overload the brush. Last pass against the growth. You're gonna grab a quick bite to eat. This will actually probably be the last shave that I do until I get the straights. So if you don't see a video for a few days, I'm sure I'm fine. I'm just waiting to see those straight razors. I had a bump right there and I think I just hit it. At least it felt like I did. It may have not, you know, sometimes It'll feel very like sharp and prickly on your skin. And you think you've cut yourself, but you really didn't. But I think I did there. Not that I cut myself, there was, like I said, a bump. So I just, I just sliced it off. I guillotined its ass. That had to be horrible way back when, when they used to actually guillotine people. Uh oh, somebody's getting pulled over. All right, that's gonna be that. All in all, not a bad shave, I can't lie. Although I thought it would be much worse. All right, so it is, I don't have my theirs. I don't have much of my stuff. Um, that's the only soap I brought. That's the only razor I brought. Those are all the blades I brought. Um, but I'm gonna get the shower, do like a, cold water rinse when I get out the shower and then I'll be using what is this Dunshire yeah labels kind of mucked off but uh, this is Sterling's Dunshire aftershave sample so that'll be going on this anyways hope you guys have a good Sunday and um, if you don't see me for a while it's because I'm waiting on the streets I want to have a you know a couple of days growth of beard before I actually shave with the straights um, just to give them a good, fair test. So, have a good Sunday. Hope you enjoyed the fight last night if you watched it. If not, uh, you missed out. Bye, guys.